Hello, my name is Kimberly Fay, and I'm an attorney with Administer Justice. Today, we are going to talk about student loans. Today, we are going to discuss four main points. Deciding whether to take out a student loan, what to do once you've determined your need, what type of loan to take out, and what to do when it's time to repay your loans. First, we will talk about deciding whether you need a student loan. You should think ahead about how you can cut costs. It might be the case that you don't need to take out a student loan if you can live frugally during the time that you are studying. For instance, you might consider commuting to school rather than living on campus. Also, you can take advantage of required courses that are offered at your local community college. These courses tend to be less expensive per credit than courses that are typically offered at traditional four-year universities. Finally, you can consider selecting a lesser tier school than the one you have your heart set on. This will lower your tuition obligation overall, making your education more affordable and reducing your loan obligation over the long term. Now we will talk about what to do once you've determined your need for student loans. First, you should consider your anticipated income once you graduate. Use a website such as salary.com or payscale.com to determine average salaries in your field. Try not to borrow more than your first year's anticipated salary to reduce your loan obligation. Second, be frugal. Try to find ways to limit your costs, such as cooking meals rather than purchasing an on-campus dining plan. Also, if possible, try to avoid borrowing money for living expenses such as rent. If this is strictly necessary, try to find the most frugal living arrangement possible to limit the amount that you will need to borrow. Now let's talk about what type of loan you should choose. Generally speaking, it's best to select a federal loan instead of a private loan because federal loans tend to offer fixed interest rates, more favorable repayment options, as well as deferment or forbearance options. When choosing a federal loan, keep in mind the difference between subsidized and unsubsidized loans. With subsidized loans, the government pays your interest during the period that you are in school. With unsubsidized loans, this interest continues to accrue on the loan and is capitalized into the principal thereby increasing the amount that you owe at the end of the loan period. Select private loans only if necessary. Interest rates on private loans tend to be variable and repayment is often expected immediately following graduation. Finally, there are a number of different options available when it comes time to repay your student loans. First, you can consider income-based repayment options, which would help to make your payments more affordable and also might offer loan forgiveness after you've made payments for a certain period of time. For example, General income-based repayment offers loan forgiveness after payments have been made over a period of 25 years. Furthermore, the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program offers loan forgiveness after a period of 10 years if you've been employed full-time in a nonprofit or government position. You can also apply for deferment or forbearance of your payments should you return to school or experience financial hardship. During deferment or forbearance periods, however, interest on your loans will continue to accrue. If you are struggling to make your loan payments, you should communicate with your loan servicer. Missed payments can negatively impact your credit score, and your servicer might be able to offer you some more favorable repayment options. Also, you should note that student loan debt is not generally dischargeable in bankruptcy, except in cases of extreme hardship. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions, please contact Administer Justice at the number below. Thank you again and have a blessed day.